Hello everyone, welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival Reforge Eden version 1.9. In today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in the Andrevalian, I think is what it's called. We're going to spawn it in and we're going to take a look at it. And then once we take a look at it, we're going to go to, um, we're going to go to Teladar and look for POIs because I need small upgrade kits. So without further ado, let's just go out here and spawn this bad boy and take a look at it. This is what it looks like. Well, let me grab an EBA boost real quick. Let me put an EBA boost and we'll take a look at the ship. And I'll show you why I'm bringing this one in compared to the animal. This is the ship we'll be taking with us. EBA boost. Alright, let's go take a look at this ship in its glory here. It doesn't have all the weapons on it right this second, and I need to make some more, um... What are these? Advanced, or... Sloped drive thruster. So I need, like, three on each side in order to get the momentum, but that means I would have to add more generators. These weapons right here, these these ones, the beam turret, will be taken off and replacing them with um, these. The rocket turrets are just fine. Actually, you know what? No, actually, that's the right amount of guns. We need more rocket launchers, to tell you the truth. But where will we put them on the side here? Is that how that one is set up? We got already two rocket launchers on, or four rocket launchers on here already. But what I'm thinking is putting them right here and right here in order to get more punching power and then maybe an artillery turret somewhere up here. Like right here, an artillery turret. Just to do mass damage. But yeah, let's go look at the inside of the ship real quick. She's not much to look at. There's two way in, this one and this one. They both lead to the same room. Hey, if I can fly here. <laughs> so you come in and here's the med bay in the area. You got some of these deco and, you know, armor locker and whatnot. You come up here, this is the upper deck here. It's got an advanced warp drive. This back here is just another room with a shield generator in it. So that's that portion. So the meat, meat of the ship here, we have um, the core room which has got a advanced generator in it which I plan on adding another advanced generator eventually just for um just for power consumption and then we come up the elevator all the way and you have the cockpit right there for the back an armor locker some ventilations and a health station and then I put the capacitors right here they were originally down in this hole right here down here they're originally down here, but I'm thinking of putting the large shield generator in here. The very large one. These are large, and then there's a very large one. <laughs> Excuse me. But it takes some rare parts, which I don't have. So that's why we're going to go to Teladar, and that's pretty much this ship. I mean, it's not much to look at. It's made out of um, carbon substrate. So we're going to be relying heavily on the shields. And then I brought in the POI buster that York told me about. It's right here. It's got two rail guns, a shield. Yeah. 
we're going to use that if we find an assembly yard. I'm hoping. Whoops. Let's get to Talador. Come on. Let me in the door. Right, let's turn on the thrusters and get to Talador. Because everything should have respawned by now. The farm is looking good. I just picked it like recently. So map. What is on Talador? I can't remember. Let's go over there and check it out. We need small upgrade kits. That's what we're looking for today. I know I can buy them, but I'd rather loot them. If I can. But the Andrevelian was cheaper than the animal. And it's a pretty good ship. This is yeah, the Andrevelian is the ship that I use in my multiplayer world. Which, if you guys are interested in joining the server, get on my Discord. It, link in the description below. And come ask for the server info detail. And we'll private message you and we'll tell you what the server information is if you guys want to come play on the server. I usually play on the server during the weekend. So yeah, so if you guys are interested in joining the server and just having some fun and some laughs, just um, hit us up in Discord. I mean, it's free to anybody that wants to come and play. So yeah. We're going to get to tell the RC what's here. Because I, I don't remember what's here. There's a Xerox shift. We're looking for an abandoned assembly yard. That and we need... Um, we need small upgrade kits. Alright, so what's on this planet that we can do? What's that? Unknown artifact? Unknown artifact? Old Tower? Crash Titan? Old Tower? Archaeologist dig site. Abandoned mine. That's in Xerox territory though. Temple of the Zoo. Abandoned shelter. Submerged tank. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. Should have respawned by now. Just for a little loot. Really? There's nothing on this planet? Really? Oh, a whole bunch of unknown artifacts. That's the crash site. Wow. The only thing on this planet is the archaeologist dig site, huh? Wow, we got unlucky with the seed on this one. Oh, hold on, there's an abandoned drone base. We'll be doing a building episode in the next episode for Friday, everyone. We're going to work on the farm. Alright, so what we're looking for... Actually, does this one have... A barrel chamber in it? I mean, because that's sometimes some good loot. I don't see one up there. No, this one doesn't have a barrel chamber. All right, let's go do the drone base real quick. Or let's go to the submerged tank, whichever one's closer. I could have sworn I marked them. That way. So the abandoned drone base is closer than the submerged tank. We're going to speed run the... The drone base. Because we're looking for small upgrade kits 
large upgrade kits. Flying over Polaris territory. Already 10 minutes in the video and we haven't really got anything accomplished today other than showing off the ship. <laughs> She's a good ship. My next ship that I plan on bringing in is... The Ice Miner. This is our next project. We need ice harvester drills. Another reason why I'm doing POIs now. We need the we need the schematics for it. The the harvester drill turret and the automated harvester drills. We need both schematics for it. I'm not worried about the crew members. I'm gonna take the large matrixes and bridges out. I mean the main components is the ice drills. I might just take the ice drills off for now. Nah, we'll leave them on there because it's pretty kitted out. And we're going to be in the dark side of the moon. Or the dark side of the planet. Let me land real quick. Let's make a daylight for you all. Turn off the thrusters. Go down here. Make a daylight. Go back up here. Turn the thrusters back on. Alright. Yeah, I want to show you guys the assembly yard. And how easy it actually is. Have you respawned? You have. Nice. I need your goodies. Give me one second everyone, I got a car. What are you firing at? Whatever it is, kill it already. Alright. So there's a turret right here. You can tell by the outline of the block here. And then... There's another turret over here. Go take it out, and then we'll start looting. As soon as we kill the scorpion dudes. I need your alien parts to make meds, buddy. Clear the area and then we'll loot. Huh. Drone of some sort, huh? Alright, let's start looting here. Let's see here. Well, let's loot into Trade Goods 1. We're looking for undelivered cargo. We're looking for small upgrade kits. So, yeah. Three, six fuel packs. All right, this side is done. There we go, undelivered cargo. Drill charge. Make sure we kill all the scorpions. I hear lots of them. But I don't see them. That can just spoil. 
Radiation boost. Is there more down here somewhere? Yeah, there's one right there. All right, let's get to looting this floor real quick. Electronics. Flex coil. Fuel pack. Dual fuel pack. Fusion cell? No. No fusion cell today. Okay, make sure that bug over here is dead. Med pack. Stuck on rounds. Fuel packs. Some weapons of some sort. Alright. We're done with this floor real quick. Where'd you come from? I actually didn't see him. Alright. Alright, stun pills. That's two D dark skits. Do you want to go up the ladder? That's a scorpion drop. So you can kill him. And then there should be some nightmares up here somewhere. You're dead. Yeah. You'll get a hit in, but that's okay. I have med kits for you. Some explosives. More um, ammunition for my gun. There's a turret right here. Reload. There should be two bug uglies dropping out of the elevator. Alright, here comes the fun room. Which I wish I had the thunderbolt right about now. Because there's going to be scorpions, little bitty ones, popping out from right there. There's one more somewhere around here. He's going to at least expect that he's going to get me. There he is. I knew he was somewhere. Can't fool me. Ooh, him. Alien thorn. Another multi-tool. Some spice and some alien thorn. Come on, upgrade kits. Advanced mobility boost. You know what I just thought of? I'm wearing an EBA boost. Mm-hmm. Because we were showing off the ship. Let's go rectify that real quick. Because I just wondering why they were hitting me so hard. Just for being little scorpions. And it's because I'm wearing an EBA boost. It shouldn't take us long to get back in there. If you're wondering why I'm putting a jetpack boost, I fell into the thruster room and the only way, way out of the thruster room is to have a jetpack boost on. <laughs> Luckily, you could link to the ship and basically um, go to the armor locker and put it on from a distance. The only thing that saved me from that death. But yeah, we're looking for... We're looking for upgrade kits. Any more? 
computers, nanotubes. Oh, man. I'm looking for an advanced armor, too, while we're doing this. The box is empty. Those boxes are empty. Carbon fiber tubes, or whatever they're called, fiber optics. Some motors. Titanium plate. And some flux coils and computers. Alright, so now we go over to the other side. And kill the scorpions that are over there. Is that it of them? He's stuck in the corner. Ah, oh, you got me with the poisonous bite, huh? Alright. What med kid does poison this fight? <sighs> we have indigestion. All is cured in the world. Another drill charge that I'm never going to use. Some ammunition. Alright, so we want to go this way. Ow. I don't want to take out the turret, I want to save it. There's little scorpions right here. Come on. There's usually three of you. I'm only going to be able to loot one because the bodies are stacked. Alright, so this room down here is the fun room. This is the one that either... This is the one that either will kill you or you'll be able to take the nightmares out relatively quick. They didn't infect me. Oh. Who said you could have a lot elevator access? Stay right there, Bargoli. No! Don't move. Gotcha. Alright. Where's that assassin at? I know he's here. Really, Terry? Can we cheese it? Here, though. Alright, and there's another one right here. I want to go loot the um, nightmare loot because I need the alien parts to make meds. Let's open that vent up here real quick. What do we got? Flamethrower, some cobalt alloy. I mean the cobalt alloy is going to come in handy for when we start making the grow plots because you need... um. So much, um, cobalt alloy to make, um, ooh, some titanium. Oh, oh. Another bug ugly up there. Get up here and loot him. What's in the loot barrel? Not what I want. We're not coming up with a lot of um, small, <laughs> small upgrade gets. There's a trap door right there. Yeah, if you fall down in there, let me join out and I'll show you. 
There's a thruster right there. Oh, they took the thruster out. No, that's there. See the thruster? The only way to get out is to jump with a jetpack. Alright. So now in this part right here. What you want to do is you do not want to jump off the pad. Until after you get the nightmares taken care of. So you jump down. The nightmares will spawn. There's only going to be two of them. And then you want to reload. Because you're going to be fighting three scorpions right here. And then reload again. Waste ammunition because you're going to have two z pop up right at the end of the hallway. And then you're going to have an overseer pop up right down there. I think I killed them both. Alright, here comes the tricky room, right? We're reloaded all the way. This can be a number of different entities. I'm not being able to shoot to the door. That's not good. He's sticking his leg through. He's dead. Come on. Come out to play. Alright, so this is square. Square. V. And the last one's going to be this one over here, the plus symbol. And you're going to find yourself, there's going to be a Z-Rack spawning when you get close to the room. And that guy. There's a turret in there. But if you do it right, you can sneak around the corner a little bit. And tag it. We're going to have to reload. Alright, now you can... Where'd that overseer go? Oh, yeah. Don't walk in the beam just yet. Eh, typical stuff. Alright, so now... Reload, you're gonna have three nightmares in the hallway here. So that you guys know. Oh, four. I guess I looted them all. No. Alright, so when you're coming down this way, right? Reload. I do believe there's going to be a couple Xerox spawn, I think. Or is it just nightmares? Nah, uh, there's one. Just line them up. That's all the nightmares. And the overseer. I forgot about him. He can't get past the blast doors, by the way, if you're wondering. You came down real quick. Alright, so this is where I normally die at. In this room. Only because the Xerax are OP. No, 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 no. No hidden. Uh, 
Uh, where's that other Xerox at? He normally likes to run up in the corner and be just a... Yeah, they like to hide up in that corner. Alright. The time for the fat loot. What do we got? An advanced upgrade kit. Not what I wanted, but okay. I mean, it's better than not getting anyone. Ooh, there we go. There's one. We need six total. Alright, so we looted all that. Let's reload. Alright, here comes the fun part. When you flip the switch, make sure you're standing approximately right here. That sucks. There's only one left. Let's loot them all up. And we'll loot where we can before they disappear. Yeah, they're starting to disappear. Alright, that's the core taken out. You'll know by this right here. You should be able to zap it. Um, fridge. This, 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 that, and that, and the emerald pentaxid. Trade goods one. Let's just put all this in there. And let's link up to constructor input. And we do need a little bit of Xeno, so we're going to grab a little Xeno here on our way out. And then we'll go over the, um, the merge tank and, um, see what's there. Hopefully we're, we're hoping for, um, we're hoping for, um, upgrade kits. That's the whole reason why I'm doing this deal, right? I know it gives you at least at least one of one type of upgrade kit. It could be a large, it could be a small, or it could be an advanced. If you're looking for small ones, your the drone base is the way to go. Because normally I get like one every time I run it. Sometimes, and sometimes I get large ones. If you're wondering where the core was, it's in here. I don't know where at in there. I mean, I don't need, uh... Grab a little Xeno substrate here. I don't know what that switch does. I do know that there should be a scorpion in this little grate area here. Along with an O2 tank. He's probably somewhere. We got a little Xeno right here. Because our next ship we're bringing in is called the Soul Siphon. And it takes 65,000 Xeno. So yeah. It's a lot of Xeno. We already got that, 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 that. Fuel tank. We already took the O2 out. Alright. There's another loot barrel over here. Looking for scorpions. I want the turret for its goodies. Generators. They all add up in the end. Make sure I'm on salvage mode. I don't want to pick any of these blocks up. I mean, we do have a deconstructor back at base, but I'd rather not use it. I really want to show you guys the dense mining asteroids. 
is really what I want to show you guys. Because the dense asteroid fields are pretty cool to look at and pretty cool to do. Um, you need the dense ice in order to make fuel for one of the, um, one of the, um, one of the, um, ice drills. You start out with, I think, rich ice or dense ice, one of the two. You start out with that and then, um, You get to go to the dense asteroid field. It's either dense first and then rich or rich and then dense. I can't remember. Right off hand. Oops, water. O2. Nutrient solution and some O2. Alright, let's go see the submerged tank, and that's where we'll call the video, everyone. Pretty productive episode. We found one of the, the six upgrade kits that we need. In the next episode, what we'll do is we will do a building episode. I will get everything ready for branching out the farm. These keep good components. I need some glass plate. I'm just going to grab the glass real quick before we take off. Because I used a lot I used a lot of my glass plate to bring in the Angevellian. I'm glad they fixed it with the with the shield generator. If it's on, it, it shouldn't take out blocks. At least they fixed that. At least I zapped the ship and it didn't take a block out, which is good. Alright, let's go to the submerged tank, see what's there, and then that's where we'll call the video. I mean, pretty productive. We got one small upgrade kit out of the six we need. And... Hello? And it's dark time. We'll make a daylight for you guys when we get over here. Is it respawned yet? I can't tell. I can't tell because it's so dark. Turn the thrusters off. Spend the night in the bed. Alright. No. It's respawned. How do I know? Because I always take the top off. So then when I come here... If the top is off, then I know it hasn't regenerated yet. But we're not going to be back to tell the dark for a little while. At least a good couple days. Because there's only a drone base here, and I really want to show you the easiest way to take out the bunker. Now let's go kill the spiders down here. Take that out, take that out. I didn't mean to nuke the container. What do we got? Health packs. Detox kit. And some weapons. Alright. No. No upgrade kit. Alright. So we're going to use our handy jetpack to get out of there. If I had an advanced jetpack, that would be pretty cool. I wonder how far up I could jump that. Alright everyone, this is where I'm going to call this video everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you storm that like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more daily videos. Okay everyone, take care and bye bye.